The, the drilling starts with exploration drilling. We also call it wildcat drilling. Wildcat means middle of nowhere. It verifies the presence or absence of hydrocarbons. Like I mentioned to you before, we don't have any tool until today which tells us from the surface whether we have oil and gas underneath the ground or not. The only way we will know is by draining a well through the formations. So that the exploration drilling will verify the presence or absence of hydrocarbons and it will quantify reserves from the first well we drill, whether we found a discovery or we did not find a discovery. Once we found, find a discovery, then we go for appraisal drilling in order to determine how big the reservoir is or how big the discovery is. Because from one well we cannot tell the extent of the entire reservoir. We have to drill a couple of more wells at least to determine how big the reservoir is and whether it, we, it can be economically developed or not. So we determine the economic feasibility of the, uh, the discovery. Then we also can do, sometimes we can do also delineation drilling. In addition to one or two appraisal wells, we drill a few more delineation wells. And we go farther apart from the first well where we have drilled to see if we can determine the total extent of the reservoir, how big the reservoir is. Once we, are, once we have confirmed, we are satisfied with the discovery, we know that it is economical or commercial to develop the field, we come up with a development plan. And then we start development drilling. The development drilling will include number of wells to be drilled right away in order to arrive at a certain production rate. And then we keep that rate, plateau rate, for as long as possible by keep on drilling more and more wells over the future period of time. Maintain potential and infill drilling, that is what it's called maintain potential, is we need to maintain the plateau rate for as long as possible because each well has peculiar behavior. They will decline with time. And once, when the well, well declines in production, we have to add another well in order to capture that decline. That is called maintained potential drilling. And then we have infill drilling, is initially each one of these wells will be draining a certain area. So from the, from, from the initial studies, we determined that, that, that a well is, for example, drilling a one square kilometer area. Later on, we determined that this well cannot drain one square kilometer area, but we have drilled all the wells in the field based on one square kilometer. Then we come back and we start infill drilling. We start drilling wells in between them because to, in order to uh, uh, be able to recover the oil and gas from the entire reservoir. Delineation or step out drilling, we start from the middle of the reservoir, from the crest, from the top of the structure and we start going towards the periphery of the reservoir, to the flanks. Okay, so the top of the structure is called crest, crest and the sides of the reservoir are called flanks. So as we are going down dip from the, the structure, we are going towards the flanks. We keep on going, stepping outward, as soon as we find the oil water contact, we stop there. Because once you have found the water contact, beyond that we don't have any oil or gas accumulation. 